So we present uh, an abstract here where uh, we are investigating FLT3 ITD acute myeloid leukemia uh, and features of its treatment uh, that reflect uh, overall outcomes in the context of patients who go to transplantation. Uh, the, the question that we're trying to examine is uh, which strategy leads to the best outcomes? Uh, what uh, the role of chemotherapy and consolidation chemotherapy? Uh, what the role of targeted agents uh, both before and after transplantation have on outcomes? And what uh, other features of the disease in response to treatment uh, are associated with favorable outcomes? Uh, so what we found is that folks uh, treated with standard induction chemotherapy uh, have fairly high rates of minimal residual disease after uh, induction chemotherapy. Uh, in our series, we had uh, approximately 50% of the patients who were deemed to be in remission had uh, minimal residual disease by measure of uh, genetic assessments or flow-based uh, MRD. Um, and that degree of MRD could be suppressed uh, with one round of cytarabine-based uh, consolidation. Uh, an oral tyrosine kinase inhibitor uh, or the combination of both before transplant. And by suppressing that level of MRD, we found that patients who went to transplant had a fa more favorable outcomes afterwards uh, as opposed to those patients who went to transplant in a remission but with MRD. Um, we also found that patients benefited from the addition of a tyrosine kinase inhibitor after transplant um, and that was independent of uh, whether they were in uh, MRD negative remission or not. Uh, but the, the most favorable outcomes are patients who had induction, had one round of consolidation, uh, had a tyrosine kinase inhibitor both before and after transplant. Uh, and we think that should establish that strategy as the standard approach to patients with this disease.